Hey, I'm Gary from Piaget Pines, New York Springs, Pennsylvania. We also have a store in Maryland called Olga Garden Supply. Today we're going to be hooking up a reservoir top-off system to our fall ponic system over here. Um, these are eight-gallon grow sites. There's four of them in the tent. We got the reservoir outside the tent. And I'm going to be hooking up a chiller over here shortly in another video. But what I want to do here is have a reservoir top-off here. So pretty much this 17-gallon tote we're going to use. And this is going to keep the system topped off. That way, just in case I'm away on the weekends and for a couple days, I don't want to have to worry about the reservoir going dry and having my pumps burn up, especially since we're having a second pump for the chiller. So we're going to go ahead and plumb this in here. Um, pretty much what we got going on here. The kit comes with a float. This thing's pretty cool. It's a half inch bar fitting float valve not really like what they have at the hardware store they got some different ones there where it's got like a metal bar that you can bend to kind of set your water level um this thing is gonna it also comes with a half inch fitting for your reservoir and a little elbow here so you can kind of aim your water down where you want it um and then it comes with five foot of half inch tubing to hook your reservoir up to your other reservoir so that's your top off reservoir that's your regular reservoir um this can be used on lots of different hydroponic systems um this works on our five gallon stir pond system to help keep that topped off and it's just nice to have it takes your mind off of having to worry about where your water, where your water level is in your system so this top one up here was a one and a quarter inch hole saw to get that screwed in i already did that a little while ago so down here we're gonna use a step bit to get into here And pretty much this is going to be inside here and then you'll be able to set your water level by adjusting this so I'm gonna have it up here in the back corner out of my way so that way when I hook my chiller up it's not gonna be in the way and it should be pretty cool um, you're gonna need a tape measure here so pretty much you're, we're aiming for a three-quarter inch hole to get through the sidewall of this bucket and it's real easy to do. Anybody who's got a step bit or a three quarter inch hole saw can get this done. And three quarter on here. When I use the when I use this step bit, I kind of just take I step it in one at a time. I kind of got a black line on here where I'm going to stop at, and then I'm going to check it, and then I'm going to try again, make sure it fits good, and kind of go from there. Um, I, I do prefer to put this a little bit above the water level. That way it's not acting like this when it's going in. And when it when it does trickle in, it just trickles very slowly. It comes out the bottom right here of this gray piece. So as your plants drink up the water, it literally is just gonna be a drop here and there coming out and it'll keep it nice. It takes the headache out of you having to worry about it. All right, so I got a nice flat area here. And in, in here is a little groove right here. You wanna stay away from that when you're drilling, so. I'm going to go beside that a little bit. All right. Got our handy dandy deburring tool. If you don't have one of these, you can use a razor blade. Something to clean up the hole pretty much. I like the deburring tool that we do some on our website. It makes the hole nice and smooth here. Alright, so I got it on the first try. So that's good. Comes with a washer on it. And this is sold as a kit on our website too. So if you don't want to hunt down all these parts, it's just easy to get on there and order from us if you want. So pretty much that's going to screw on like that. And then, um, ooh, when you go to fill this thing up, fill up your whole system first before you even think about getting your reservoir level top off uh, this thing filled up. All right, so that's one. Then the, this is what's gonna turn into the half inch hose to run up to your reservoir. They make these in quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch. I just go with the half inch. You don't have to worry about any clogging up when you go up like that. Um, since it's above the water level, you don't really have to worry about leaking either. 
Um, this one comes with double grommets on it, um, double washers, I'd say. So that one seals up pretty darn nice. And then it comes with five feet of tubing. You can, this can be a 55 gallon drum if you wanted to. Just remember that every every uh, gallon of water is about eight pounds of pressure of weight on it. So this is 17 gallons. That should keep me going for days on end without having to worry about it or check it. Pretty easy little thing to hook up. And it's gonna come in handy with the chiller. Right, I've got my handy dandy hose cutters here. Some scissors will get this job done too. Some heavy duty scissors. You can put this in some hot water to loosen up your tubing, make it get it on a little easier. Which I didn't do, obviously, but hey. <laughs> It's on there, it's over both barbs, so it should be good to go. Um, pretty easy. I'm gonna fill this up and then set my water level, and then I won't have to worry about water level anymore. It'll be all where I want it all the time. So I'm gonna go get some water and we'll be right back. All right, um, got everything topped off here to where I want it. So that's the fall pine system bubbling away there. And I'm gonna be planting some peppers in there for the winter or winter store displays um people ask me what to put in this bin up here this is your top off reservoir um the general rule is plants drink about 75 percent of the water and 25 percent of the nutrients so when you go to remix this you can either put plain water in which i've had good luck with that in the past um but when the plants are getting big and mature they really need those nutrients so if you do a 25 percent of your mix that you usually use in there that will help get the system back to where it should be on your parts per million roughly so that's just a general rule um let dump this in here you can see it dripping out down here in the reservoir so it's dripping out nice and slow there so i'm gonna go ahead and, and adjust this bring it up a little bit well actually i'm gonna go down sorry <laughs> We're gonna go down with this. And this is something you just gotta kinda dial in. Once you get it dialed in, see right now it's coming in a little bit, so I don't want the level to keep going up, so it's got little notches on here. There, one more notch. So right about there. Got a couple little drips coming in, but those will probably stop real shortly. And that's about it for that um and besides putting a 25 percent of normal nutrients in here i also like to add in enzymes some kind of enzyme product this will help keep the salts from building up in here and it'll keep stuff from getting clogged up it also digests the food and helps the plants eat better or beneficial bacteria those will actually produce their own enzymes too and that'll help keep your system clean of salt buildups and it'll keep your little valve open and going good so that's just some little tips that we have um i did get the chiller hooked up here that's in a different video so if you're interested in a chiller you should go watch that too there's a link down below for that um don't forget to subscribe to us if you like our videos i try to just be honest and thorough with them and um subscribe to facebook youtube instagram all that stuff we're on there and thanks for watching i'm gary from piaggio Bonics, your springs pennsylvania we have a store in maryland called all good garden supply have a good one